I have a GTX 360 12 gigabytes. I have a Ryzen 5700X. My motherboard is the ASUS 350 Prime, and I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. This review is for the PC players that play using the keyboard. I will share my thoughts. Hopefully you will be able to decide after watching this review, whether you want to buy Tekken 8 or not. This is the Tekken 8 demo. The first thing is that in the options menu, you will have a bit of a problem. The button mapping is still, still has the same problem that existed in Tekken 7. And that is that if you have keys assigned in keyboard setting 2 somewhere, then you won't be able to assign the same keys on keyboard settings 1. And there is no shortcut that um, Tekken 8 has that, oh, you've got this key assigned in keyboard settings 2. Do you want to like swap the keys? They don't, ha don't have any option that is similar to what I just said. So you will have a problem with uh, adjusting the keys when you first start Tekken 8. And I think that this is... a uh, I don't think, I know for certain that this was a problem in uh, Tekken 7 as well. So I had a problem adjusting the adjusting the keys in Tekken 7 as well. Another thing that you'll notice is that this game is currently installed on an HDD. Loading times will be slightly slower and you will have stutters when the game loads for the first time. For input, I can tell you that sidestepping is a little bit easier and doing electrics is a little bit easier. Now, I am a Haran player, and if you watch my channel, you already might know that I'm a Haran player. So right now, I'm going to use Jin, as Haran is not available. And it Jin, I mean, don't I, I don't know how to play Jin. I just uh, installed the demo yesterday, and I've been playing a little bit of Jin, but I do not know his move set. So yeah, I'll be doing electrics. You will find that doing electrics and uh, inputs are slightly easier in Tekken 8. Tekken 8 is also also feels a little bit slower than Tekken 7. I'm not sure why, but it feels a little bit slower. It's sluggish. So uh, miss inputs might be slightly difficult in Tekken 8. In Tekken 7, missing inputs was a little bit easy. Uh, what I've seen is that uh, you can... I believe it's called buffing inputs or buffering inputs. I do not know, but you can do that. Another thing that I've noticed is that in Tekken, in this Tekken, there are a few things that I found, and that is that wave dashing is a little bit easier. So wave dashing is a little bit easier, but the Korean back dash is not easy. And the reason for that is is because they have changed changed the, this a little bit so that the back dashing is um, if you can only back dash, but you do not know the Korean back dash, you can still play at some level pretty easily. So you can see that I'm you might might notice you might notice that my inputs are a little bit more precise than in Tekken 7 and please don't and don't judge the gameplay because I'm not a I'm not a uh, Jin player, so I'm not really playing this game as well as a, any other Jin player would. What I'd like to show you is how easy it is to perform electrics in this game. So let me just uh, show it to you. Uh, let me just deal with Nina's attacks first. Okay, that was an electric, but it's super easy. Like the electrics are super easy in this game. That's what I. That's what I found. You can see that I'm not a gin player, but I could still do an electric pretty easily. And also, another thing that I noticed is running block is a little bit easy. So it's not the same as it was in Tekken 7, where you just, you know, press forward and immediately you would get, you would get, like, it, I know for certain that gin is blocking as soon as I run and I click back and gin immediately responds. This wasn't the case in Tekken 7. 
I had a problem with um, with basically uh, running and blocking. So running and blocking will be slightly easier in this game as far as I can tell. And that was his end stance. How did he enter his end stance? I'm not sure how did he do that. Okay, so that's how you enter his end stance. Okay. But, uh, a veteran Jin player will actually have an easier time, as far as I can tell, with electrics, because I have I see that the input is very good. Now I'm going to show you the Korean back dash, if I can still, I'm still trying to master the Korean back dash on, on, on Tekken 8. In Tekken 7, it's a little bit different, but yeah, so you can see that back dash is kind of backdash you you don't really need to know the uh, know the coin backdash in this game another thing that i noticed is that sidestepping is a little bit easier in this game and you can see that that, that was an electric by a guy who doesn't really play jin so it's That was an electric, but I'm still trying the electrics. It's slightly easier. That's that's what I can tell you. Like, I know that I will have a very easy time with Harong. I'll have a very easy time with Harong uh, when, I, when I'm going to do the Skyrocket. I know for that for certain. Yeah. Super easy. Electrics are super easy in this game. Okay, so I'm just going to just play another match. And okay, so the keyboard doesn't feel very sluggish and it's easier to get just frames on this. Like, uh, I'll try to show it to you. So see, just frames are very easy on on keyboard now how do you do the combos anyway this is not a Jin review so yeah the, I'm, I mean I do not know how to play Jin so yeah whatever and again I tried electric okay let's Let's see. The electric input. Let me just see how easy it would be to input. Let's just backdash. Okay, so backdash, really, you don't need the Korean backdash anymore. You really don't need the Korean backdash anymore. Uh, uh, although, oh yeah, by the way, if you're playing Tekken 8, you will find that the Korean backdash is slightly more difficult in, in this game. But wave dashing is easy. Wave dashing is not that difficult. Korean backdash is a little bit difficult on keyboard over here, especially if you're used to the Tekken 7 input, because if you have the same Tekken 7 input on Tekken 8, like if you do the same Korean backdash input, uh, you will get a slower slower version of the backdash. So you can see that I'm basically, this is the same input that I give on on Tekken 7. Wave dashing is very, like if you, if you, if you can dash as quickly as you could on like, if you could backdash on on uh, if you could back if you can sorry if wave dash on Tekken Seven, then you will probably have an easier time wave dashing in this game. But Korean backdash, no, that's not that's not uh, like uh, Korean backdash is a little bit different. So if I do the Korean backdash, this is this is my input for. Uh, the Korean bank dash in Tekken 7 and you can see that it's it's not Jin is not really moving anywhere I'll have to get used to this new Korean back dash uh, input that people have actually been talking about already so you can see that this is the normal back dash and that is the Korean back dash which I'll have to actually uh, figure out and that was an electric. And you can see how easy it is to basically do the electric in this game. It's super easy, like so easy. The inputs are in this game are so easy. 
And uh, the sidestepping, like sidestepping, is just so easy. I can't even tell you how easy they are. I'm actually trying to make her do something. She's not. Do something. I'm actually trying to uh, sidestep out of the way, but sidestepping is just easy in this game. And again, a, a very easy electric. Very, very easy. So, I think the keyboard players are going to enjoy playing playing this game. It still could be a little bit better. Like, you can see that I'm still missing electrics a bit. But then again, I'm not really a, a uh, Jin player. I tried to do an electric, but I failed. Again, this is going to be my last match, so you can get an idea of just how easy the inputs are and how difficult it is. So sidestepping is very easy. Now you can sidestep relatively easy, and that's the reason why uh, I think that more players have a homing move now. So it's kind of like that, where you've got the inputs a little bit better in this game. So it is, it is kind of like um, the inputs are slightly easier. They're not that difficult, but they're still there. Like they're still they're still difficult. They're not very difficult, but they're 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 easier than the than the than the inputs that you saw uh, that you had in Tekken Seven. And the Korean backdash, you'll have to get used to this new Korean uh, like the new system. Yeah, the Korean backdash will have to like imp like get used to new new ones. So Yeah. Okay, so that's my review basically. The input feels better. It is still like if you have a quick keyboard like I do, which is the Logitech G512, you will still miss input. Sometimes you'll not get the electric light like you want. These things are going to happen. But overall, playing on keyboard is a much better experience than it was in Tekken 7. The game also feels slower. It feels like when you're like pressing the keys, you can actually feel your character respond faster. However, the animations seem to be a little bit slower, but they respond at least. So that's a good thing. Anyway. That's my review. Hopefully, this will help you uh, make a make a good decision. The uh, sidestepping is easy. Korean backdash will have to get new. Uh, you'll have to get used to a new Korean backdash uh, input. Uh, the if you use the same input that you did in Tekken Seven, your character will basically not move very well. The wave dashing is uh, it's faster for some reason. Like you can the wave dash input is is easier. Electrics seem to be easier than they are on, than they were on Tekken Seven. Uh, it's overall an easy, easier experience, so hopefully this will help you make a good decision. Um, and another thing too is that you may have problem with uh, key mapping. That's another thing that, that will be a problem. So anyway guys, uh, take care. Hopefully this will help you.